I'm Chef Simon Braz, and today we're going to make something really special. This evening we're going to have a Hong Kong style noodles with wontons. I think this is really a lovely dish, really hearty, warming, really good for this, especially as we're starting to get into spring. It's quite light as well, but also full of flavour. The uh, main components of it are going to be the wontons, which I've got some special wonton wrappers. We're going to use a pork and prawn filling with shiitake mushrooms. And then we're going to use some vegetables, sweet corn, some pak choy, some orange too, finished with some uh, egg noodles. So, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take some shiitake mushrooms. These have just been pre-soaked for about 24 hours. Or you can do it a couple of hours before, just in uh, hot water. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this to uh, the food processor. Okay. Into that I've got 100 grams of, uh, of lean pork, 200 grams of prawns, and uh, I've got one uh, spring onion, just going to be uh, roughly chopped, because that's all going to be blended in anyway. Okay, and uh, about a, a two centimetre piece of, uh, of ginger, so I'm just going to roughly chop and, uh, and add it to the machine as well. Now, Traditionally, you would um, you would put this and just use a knife and sort of beat all the proteins and all the ingredients together and finely chop these. Um, but uh, just for speed and ease, I'm going to use a food processor. But if you want to, you can use a, a butcher's knife or a, a cleaver, and you can uh, use that machine and that knife to, uh, to do the job for you. So in there as well so that's the pork the prawns the ginger the spring onions to that i'm going to add uh, about a half a, a tablespoon of uh, corn flour a little corn starch same thing okay i'm going to add um, a tablespoon of uh, oyster sauce So we're going to want some salt and pepper in this, so a nice bit of milled pepper. And I'm using just a little bit of uh, salt, a bit of rock salt. Okay. Now, on the stove, I'm going to put a pan of boiling salted water on. And then to my other pan, I've got um, a stock. Now, I'm using a chicken and pork stock. You can use any stock you want. You can use mushroom, you can use uh, a chicken stock, you can use a fish stock, whatever you really want to do. It's completely up to, to you, it's, it's no problem. Um, obviously, if you want to make this sort of vegan, um, you can substitute the pork and prawns for cooked chickpeas, drained, obviously, tin chickpeas, and you can use that instead for the filling for the wontons. And just make a simple veg stock using uh, spring onion, shiitake mushrooms, ginger, onion, those sort of really nice uh, Asian flavours. Okay, so that's all our ingredients in the food processor. So now we're going to give this a blend. Now I'm not blending it on a, on a very high speed because I don't want this to be too pureed. I do want it to be quite, uh, have a little bit of texture to it still. So you only want to, sort of, if you can, pulse it. I'll give it about 20 seconds. And that's what we're sort of consistency we're looking for. Okay, so there's still a little bit of texture. You can see the spring onion in there. You can see the ginger, okay? This does make quite a lot of mix. And the only reason I've done this amount is because my machine needs to take a little bit more. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't quite blend enough. But if you can, there's nothing wrong with this. You can use this, you can make your wontons and you can freeze them, or you can just make lots of wontons. It's completely up to you. Okay, so just um, enjoy the mix and be, uh, be varied. If you want to put some chili in there, put a bit of heat, then by all means do. Okay, 
So, like I said, so stocks on, boiling water's on, and then we're going to have to fill the wontons. Now, I'm using these uh, wonton wrappers, and what you also want is just a bowl of uh, of water, yeah, Cause just so you can wet your finger and put it onto the wonton. Okay, important to have a damp cloth to your hand, so when you've made them, you've got somewhere to keep them uh, nice, and, nice and damp, because you don't want them to get too, uh, too dry. So otherwise when you cook them, they'll break up. So what we're going to do here, we're going to use the uh, use a teaspoon. Okay, and we're basically going to, well, I've just put water on just two edges. I'm just going to put a little bit of the filling in there, about a teaspoonful. And I'm just going to fold them over, get to the point, and pinch it so I get all of the air out. Really important you get that air out, otherwise when it comes to, to cooking them, they'll explode. Okay, so we're just going to pop them on there, and we're just going to lay them like so. Okay, so I'll take the next one. And you're just basically going to repeat the process until, until your wontons are all done. I'm working on about feeding about five wontons per person. My uh, stocks and uh, water's come to a boil now. So we're going to pop them in, fold over to the points, like so. Pinch so you can get all the air out. Really important, there we are, nice tight little triangular parcel. And just repeat, repeat, repeat. keep them in your fridge so when you're serving them for, for your guests or friends or even for a loved one you can always just uh, have them ready and, uh, you can even freeze them and cook them for frozen obviously they will take a little bit longer It'll take about sort of uh, eight to ten minutes to cook rather than sort of four to six but um, you'll eat, make sure you've got an even cooking Our wontons already. We've got a two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen wontons here. I'm just shy, I must have not quite enough of the wonton wrappers with me, but that's fine. We've still got some mix left. If we get any more, we can keep them keep going. So, once they're done, now it's just a case of uh, cooking our noodles and cooking our vegetables. So, I've got some spring onions, which I'm just going to top the, uh, the, the dish with. Got some pak choy, which I've just cut in half. I've got some um, baby sweet corn, okay, which I'm just gonna keep them whole, because give them a nice crunch. I'm gonna use these uh, dried egg noodles. You can use fresh if you want them, or you can use thick or even thin ones. It's completely up to you. you know, it's be as versatile as you want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook the um, noodles in uh, the uh, stock, okay? 
This way it gives it a really nice flavour. Right? The other vegetables we're going to put into the boiling water. Okay? And that's the spring onions, the sweet corn and the pak choy. Okay. Now, traditionally this would be served with uh, the broth on the side. So you have a bowl of noodles and the wontons and then the broth on the side. But I've really liked it with it, so it's kind of almost like a ramen feel. But um, it's completely up to you. If you want to serve it like that, then please do. If not, then just go with whatever you feel comfortable. It's really important to break up your noodles so they don't stick together when you uh, cook them. Now this recipe does do about three to four, um, roughly about five uh, wontons if you're four people, or if they have uh, a bit more of an appetite, you can do uh, you can do slightly more. Just do same amount of wontons. Break them up, lovely. Pak choy is going to go in the water now. So ready? You're definitely going to need like a slotted spoon or a spider or something to be able to dish them out with uh, when they're done. They're not going to take long to cook, probably going to take about four to six minutes. Okay. And once we've cooked the noodles, we're going to put them into the bowls, add the vegetables, we're going to cook the wontons. Just going to add the uh, the last few ingredients to uh, to the broth with the noodles. Okay, so we're going to add um, a half a tablespoon of uh, soy sauce. Okay, and we're going to add uh, a tablespoon of uh, oyster sauce. And that's going to give a nice rich flavour to this dish. Here we are, vegetables are nearly ready. Noodles, just gonna check them. Like we check uh, any any dishes, new dishes, pasta. Only a minutes. Veg, I'm going to strain. Keep in the pan. Sweet corn, just pop them in there. And if you're anything like my family, love sweet corn. Orange too as well, just gonna sit there. these out. It's 
Set them in the bowls. Okay, now we're going to put the stock back onto the heat. I'm going to put it onto a slightly bigger jet so it cooks a little bit, uh, boils quickly. Put the lid back on. And now, it's the most important, we're going to add the wontons to finish. So, as soon as that comes to the boil, which isn't going to take long at all, we're going to drop all the wontons in. And when you add each one, just drop them in and give it a little pan a little shake. This way, the liquid coats it, starts creating that seal. If you don't, what will happen is, is when you add the liquid, the wontons to the liquid, they'll start to clump together and stick, and you'll get a big mixture of wontons rather than a nice selection of, of different wontons. So water's boiling, and drop them in. Okay, and as you start to add a few more, it starts taking up the space. We're then gonna start shaking that pan that I was saying about. We've got our bowl with our vegetables and our noodles. We've got a little bowl on the side which we're going to put our, uh, our broth in. Just going to add a few spring onions to that. Okay, Just a few spring onions into here as well. Now an easy way of sort of knowing when they're cooked is they will start to, the meat itself will start to shrivel up and it will start becoming more, more taut. Also, when you pick up the wonton, see this one for example, when you pick this up, if you feel it, it's still quite soft and quite squidgy. Okay, as they cook, that's when you'll see that they'll go start getting almost like a wrinkly sort of feel and the, the meat will be a lot firmer. Okay, so we're nearly there, another couple of minutes. So here we are now, now it's, they're starting to finish cooking. So you see now, they're a lot, sort of almost bobbly in texture. And when you push down on them, there's resistance. And they're, they're cooked now. I'm gonna take them off. Dish these out. Montons. Oh, a couple of stray noodles in there. Oh, and a few more. And then finally, And there we have it guys, uh, Hong Kong style noodles with uh, pork and prawn wontons. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I really enjoy making all these videos, thank you so much. Um, my um, website is now live, so please go over there and check it out if you really wanna 
be shown how to do something a bit more creative and more focused on sort of fine dining and something to really, really impress your, your friends and, uh, and your loved ones. So thanks again for joining us. If you like this video, please give it a like, give it a comment. I really try and get back to everybody and, and hit that subscribe button. I'm uploading new videos every week. I'm also introducing YouTube only videos, ones that are exclusively for YouTube only. So we've got a few more coming in the works, they're gonna come at the end. So thanks very much, take care everybody, goodbye.